And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Merciless Elites. But before we get there, our next stream is going to be our next champion spotlight night. So we got to uh, determine what's going to be our next champion for us to have in the spotlight. We've so far had um, Anivia and Garen and uh, then Karma last week. And so we'll see who it is this week. Now tomorrow, there's not gonna, no stream tomorrow taking a day off i have just you know errands to go run like that kind of stuff um and haven't haven't taken a day off in a while so taking tomorrow off but then thursday whenever we come back that's going to be our champion spotlight day so if you haven't seen this before basically what we're going to do is we're going to just kind of uh, go random number generator determine which one of these 61 champions that are currently in legends of runeterra are we going to choose for thursday so we have our random number generator that we have set up one to 61. It says click here, it'll give us a number. Let me make sure you all can see that. Click here, 25. All right, champion at number 25. Okay, and so how it works is just like Fizz is number one, Timo's two, Zoe's three, Diana's four, and so on. So one, two, three, four. So we're just gonna count down this way. So 25, so four, eight, 12, 16, 20. Okay, we're getting close. 24 so the very next champion the one on the left over here whenever i scroll down is going to be it jinx all right jinx spotlight okay so we've we've been getting some og champions so far anivia garen um karma and now jinx some cool champions to spotlight also right like we're, we have not gotten like a real meta champion yet now the the thing with the champion spotlight day also is that we want to build decks with different region combinations and decks that are competitive that you can play in ranked so there's obviously the draven jinx discard burn and we'll probably use that for one of them but then we're gonna find uh, other region combinations that we'll be able to use with jinx so that that's gonna be really fun so that's gonna be on thursday but for today let's go ahead and go play some merciless elites Okay, so we have Merciless Elite. So this is going to be a basically all Demacia deck, 37 Demacia cards, only three Shurima cards for this new great Shurima card, Merciless Hunter. That's what that's the Merciless part of our Elite deck. We can play it, grant an enemy vulnerable. It's big, it's fearsome. It's just a wonderful card. So great card at our three mana slot. Giving stuff vulnerable is going to be important because we have a lot of things that want to challenge and give bonuses on challenging. We have like Gallant Rider. Whenever it challenges an enemy for the first time, transform it into Vanguard Cavalry. Not a bad card for four mana, a 5-5 five, five, tough. We have the Honored Lord that whenever it challenges an enemy, it gets barrier. And uh, then, of course, you always you obviously have uh, Jarvan that um, each time, especially with leveled up Jarvan, whenever it challenges, it gets barrier each time it does. So that's obviously really good, too. So yeah, our champions are going to be Garen and Jarvan. Lots of elites. We're going to be playing Vanguard, Bannerman. Um, you know, Penitent Squire will give us the Tatter Banners to help us be able to challenge things. Also, uh, looks like we got one Relentless Pursuit. And uh, that's going to kind of be the deck as far as interaction goes. Concerted Strike and Single Combat. And obviously Sharp Sight, because that card's amazing. So it looks pretty cool. All right, so let's go ahead and go play our five games in Ranked. Thresh Aurelian Soul. This is like... A throwback to whenever Aurelian Soul came out of like use Thresh to love you know level up Thresh. Then when Thresh attacks, puts puts Aurelian Soul into play. Um, I keep these two, and I, I like the three mana unit, but I hopefully won't have something die for the Redeemer. Getting in the invoke. Love having the sharp sight for protection for these. This is a pretty good hand. Pretty good hand that we got going on, but we'll see how we can deal against Targon and invoke cards. That's never going to be easy. Yep. That's why these invoke cards are pretty good. Oh. 
heart and soul for the mafia. Okay, so they didn't. At least they didn't get the six man obliterate to start with. That just turns into a four five. All right, halfway to leveling up Garen with that attack. Jarvan's champion spell is just Cataclysm. Kind of want to just cast Jarvan right now. So we're just gonna have this Jarvan's gonna have challenger. It's like, what if they don't make that block? Like, would Jarvan have just been obliterated? They just didn't make this block here. Because then I don't I don't have room for seven things. Yeah, so yeah, Jarvan would have just been obliterated, right? It's a little surprising they just let that happen. You know, they traded there. A little surprising. I know I have this Cataclysm, but I'm just going to pass. Like, I feel like we have this game. I don't know. Alright, cool. Opponent agrees. We have it. GG's.
Yeah, Jarvan can do some stuff. It's once you have level like leveled up Jarvan, definitely very good. It's not easy to level up Jarvan though. But leveled up Jarvan, pretty sweet. That was like the perfect hand. Um, you know, Battlesmith and then Battlesmith with Sharp Sight backup. And then a good four, five, six. All right, more Aurelian Soul. This time with Shivana. More traditional version with Demacia and therefore with some more units that should be uh, better in combat than what our opponent just played. Jarvan's never been changed. So the Squire is not an elite, so it's not like you hold back the Squire waiting for Battlesmith or anything. Yep, and that's how that is, and that's fine. Dragon Chow is awesome. Alright, so opponent with a very good hand. The ideal hand for sure. Um, I just don't have my own sharp sight. Yeah, we got some spicy ones today. Our decks, we have some, we have some good ones. Hey, Matt the Lug, I'm doing good. How are you doing? We're doing well. Raise the banner, lift our spirits. We stand strong. Careful. Witness my true power. Yeah, awesome, awesome hand opponent. If anybody doubts Dragon Chow being incredible, just watch this game. <laughs> like, without Dragon Chow, this entire game is so much different. Dragon Chow wrecked up. It takes it takes four from the Garen. Oh, but then the um... Shavana is good. He appeared out of nowhere. We must all do our duty. Years take experience. 
against divs. If you hurt him, you won't leave a scratch. There's probably no reason to attack with a 2-2. Alright, got the game. Man, impressive. Perfect Relentless Pursuit. Really the perfect draw there with that one drop getting the Tattered Banner. For that, that was an impressive win. For sure, wow. GG's. I think the opponent was a little, I don't know, they're a little greedy with that, with when they cast the uh, the three mana fight spell. I don't know, they, they let me single combat and kill their dragon, the screeching dragon that is. But yeah, even with the double chow, even with them having the, the two mana challenger to kill the battlesmith. That was impressive. Okay. LeBlanc Ash. I kind of like all these cards. I guess I'll mulligan Concerted Strike, but this definitely seems like a matchup where Concerted Strike could be really important. I uh, love the Jarvan. I must reach the king. Attack. I mustn't stop. Bat Pandras, I'm doing good. How are you doing? How are you doing? and Trapper. I hate seeing that. I'm, ugh. I hate seeing that too. Well, that didn't work. Merciless Hunter. Five five tough. Time. Make that a five one tough. All right, merciless hunter did its thing. Perfect. Love the sharp sight. The young prince will be found. Faster than my arrow? I think not. Bleh.
I'm basically wanting to play Redeemer this round, which is why I, you know, I played the 3-2. Definitely considering just playing the sharp side on the Honor Lord to keep them from playing Brittle Steel, because I kind of think that they're going to be playing Brittle Steel. But I guess I just let them let it trade and just hold sharp side. That's not good, them being able to refill their hand. Alright, so Jarvin's at two out of four. Victory requires a sharp blade. Ooh, that's good. What? That is not good. Yeah, I don't... <laughs> I don't beat that card. Uh, not at all. Um... Yeah, gr yeah, great hand opponent. Yeah, GG's. I wish they were playing just like the Marauder version. Not enraged, you know, enraged yet. He's awesome against us. And then obviously Captain Farron. Prepare yourself. We move soon. GG's. So round round three, I should have open attacked. I played into Culling Strike pretty bad. I guess that was the mistake on round three. You're using the Tatter Banner into Culling Strike. This is gonna. This could be tough. I don't know. Can can we kill them before round eight? I'm not sure. All right. So, like the f start and Jarvin's probably awesome. Like, I, I'm gonna have the attack token on round six. So I think it's probably good to keep the Jarvin. I'm slowing down because of sharp sight These old eyes still instead of just having avalanche uh, kill everything. So they, they definitely have Avalanche. I'm 
firing it off like that probably means another avalanche. Blighted Ravine. We'll get our legs in. Oh, the box. Ouch. Ouch. Oh, that's a lot worse for me. Because, like, so, I, saving Battlesmith is, like, kind of, like, the natural thing to do. <clears throat> but then if we do that, then both Merciless Hunter and Battlesmith only have one health. And it's super easy to kill things with one health, you know, with the Shadow Isles deck. Oh, I think I still do it. No, I mean you, you got to attack there, right? Like we we have to. That that's not a place where you take the pass. Like that's that's like usually a blighted ravine, but no, we we have to attack there. This is a spot where we could take a pass. We don't really need to play merciless hunter. Not too surprised about that, but we did get that nice hit for seven in. Warm hearts and hot soup. I'm gonna hold on to this. This one's on the house. A symbol worth fighting for. Three mana left. They haven't been playing like they have Ruination. I, I hope they don't have Ruination. Oh, I, this th already gives everything Challenger and Scout. It already gives everything Challenger, so I just wasted a mana. Which isn't really a very important mana. Oh, they do have Ruination? Yeah, they... Yeah, well... GG's. Oh, thank you. I forgot. Forgot to put this up here. King of Trolls coming through. Jinx Spotlight on Thursday. It's dangerous up there. Yeah, so no stream tomorrow. Take just taking a day off tomorrow. Just to run errands and do cleaning, all that kind of stuff. Just taking the day off. Arda's gonna make a meal of them. All things grow cold. I don't want to fight there.
keep them from making a watcher. So do I want to do this, or do I want to go lethal here? Obviously, it's not very likely it's lethal, because Merciless Hunter has one health, but... I'd force them to do something, but then... We'll probably just kill Trundle. With me. Man, that Ruination... Yeah, maybe y'all are right. Maybe we should have gone for lethal. <laughs> There's only three other cards that we don't know about. I gotta hope that other champion they just drew was a Trundle and not another Lissandra. All right, cool. So they have it. So they have two cards in a Trundle. Yeah, it looks like I should have gone for lethal because they they would have only there's only one other card that we don't know about. All right, so I, I played into the ruination, and I guess I should have gone to, for lethal. So two two things that I, you know, hindsight uh, that were not the correct lines. Okay, this will be interesting to see how this deck does against Thresh Nasus. Could be an interesting matchup here. I do love Sharp Sight. Do I want to keep both Sharp Sights? Sharp Sight's a card you're always happy to have, especially in a matchup like this where it's so much about attacking and blocking. Especially pairing it with something with tough. To the field. Taste yep, can't play around everything. I guess the the lethal thing. I just thought I thought for sure that they would be able to kill the the four one. But yeah, I guess. The desert, I guess the you know for seeing that all they had was like the top end cards. You know, I wish that. I would have made a different decision. Sturdy blades, custom made. Whoa, we do have a lot of people in here. Welcome, everybody. Yeah, I hope everybody's having a wonderful day. We got some real interesting decks on the docket today. We're playing just kind of, you know, this elite deck. Then we got like a pretty normal um, Cythria deck that we're playing up next. Two, so these two reviewers submitted donation decks. Then I built a Turbo Sun Disk. A lot of advanced cards with Buried Sun Disk. And then <clears throat> um, Buried and Ice hit that stairs combo deck for our, our final deck.
Poor Bell Smith not doing too much. Not yet. Not yet. Your time in the cycle is done. Ring. It's a good spear leech. Very good Spirit Leech. I want to kind of wait on Bannerman, right? Like, I'd like to play like maybe like the Gallant Rider this round and the next round Honored Lord plus Bannerman. Just so we buff those things up also. Will have to fall. Does mean I'm a little bit... I mean, I guess I get, I do have double sharp sight available and stuff. Like, um, I don't know if they're going to have uh, Blighted Caretaker. I don't know if I need to be too worried about Blighted Caretaker or not. This is going to be a long game. Arda's going to make a meal of them. So we'll see who who challenges the Battlesmith. Either we'll use Sharp Sight to save Battlesmith or Single Combat. We can use one of those two. Depending. Thinking about using the sharp sight on the uh, Vanguard Defender, but maybe we don't. So we can just have the Vanguard Defender trade with the 4 1. It's about to be a 3 3 tough. Spear Leech is really a problem for me, just, you know, because you know, I, don't, I don't punish anything for having one health. Are you like trade with the four one? I just don't like giving them slays, right? Like that's that's the other thing. It's like it's just it's, it's a bad trade because it gives them slays. I have been sent by the king himself. All right, now it's. Part of the game where we need our champions or King Jarvin. That's their second Vile Feast. The third Vile Feast? Oh, that's just plain rude. Maybe I don't save that one because I guess I don't save it. 
because it has the vulnerable anyway. But you know, obviously, I don't. I don't get the counter on this bannerman now. All right. Well, they've played all three Valfies, so they're not allowed to have any more of those. Last I checked. Second glimpse beyond. But two glimpse beyonds and spirit leech just probably means they're gonna just drown us in card advantage. Okay, Garen. Garen's a champion. Then there's also that thing. How do we beat Nasus? Oh, are we? One banner, one destiny. I mean, Baron plus Sharp Sight doesn't kill it. Need to draw Merciless Hunter. Life and death inexorably into wolf. Or Jarvan. Jarvan or Merciless Hunter? Jarvin. Not Jarvin. For justice. For Demacia. Alright, we can probably just concede from here because I'm not going to be able to kill this thing now. Okay, so I think our deck looked pretty. It looked it looked okay, right? It, it wasn't it wasn't bad, but it was kind of it was like a little above average. And so when we played against some better decks that had good hands and stuff like that, we we struggled. Um, we just don't have like the card advantage to be able to hang with Thresh Nasus with having all of those Glimpse Beyonds and Spirit Leech and stuff like that, and then we just can't can't kill a Nasus if we don't have our Jarvan. I could have maybe Mulliganed a little bit more aggressively. Uh, there was the against the Lissandra Trundle. Again, they have just a super powerful top end, and we're kind of a slower deck. I had two decisions that you know I made in that that game that uh, ended up not working out. You know, I could played into Ruination. Like we're not good against a Ruination deck, right? And so like they end up having the Ruination, and then could have tried attacking for Lethal, and maybe that would have worked. But um, yeah. So Shadow Isles as a region looked pretty rough for us, right? Yeah, because they. The one version had a lot of card advantage. The other one has the, the removal. But we did defeat the, the dragon deck with a really good hand with the Shavon, the Shavana deck. So that was that was pretty impressive. Um, I liked the Merciless Hunter. I wouldn't necessarily mind another Relentless Pursuit or two in here. I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. Um, I wish there were just more ways to give Challenger than what they are, because like we have a we have a lot of gallant riders and um, honored lords, and just not a lot of ways to give them Challenger. Yeah, and then our other loss, of course, was the Captain Farron. So just some some really super powerful top end cards, right? Captain Farron, Watcher, Nasus. 
those those are those are just cards that are just too big and so i guess that those are our three losses right those are uh three cards that defeat a lot of decks nine nine captain farron then obviously the watcher and then just ten ten nasus um so yeah besides concerted strike taking down i guess maybe maybe that's the thing maybe we just need more concerted strikes i guess to take down those kind of huge things but obviously it doesn't really work against the watcher but the other ones anyway all right that's merciless elites though pretty decent deck um jarvin looked really good as far as like the deck goes jarvin looked great yeah it really did um maybe maybe instead of vanguard redeemer you know trying to think of like some way to improve this maybe i know like vanguard redeemer gives us like the card advantage but it's also like not easy to turn on not easy to enable and then you have to like play it after combat for that and everything i kind of think that instead of vanguard redeemer vanguard sergeant would be better because like when you're in those like those late games like fort amasia can win you a lot of games and so instead of just drawing a random unit especially how it's like really awkward to like enable and like when to play it like after after combat all the time and then you just you know like draw you know like you know a squire or an honored lord or a vanguard defender or you know another vanguard redeemer or even a gallant rider like in that late game right like just want a random like vanilla unit isn't gonna like win you a late game but giving all of your units plus three plus three can definitely win a lot of games and so i i think that the vanguard sergeant is kind of underrated and for demasi is underrated and, and that's what i recommend i'd recommend just playing vanguard sergeant instead for this slot because then you can you can place you can just play this proactively like before you play bannerman and stuff and a lot easier than redeemer you don't have to like try to like worry about figuring out how you're gonna set that up and then just just get that for demasi in the late game so that's what i'd recommend all right, but there we go. That's going to be Merciless Elites. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, as always, feel free to leave those comments as well. Let me know what you think of the Elites. How, how'd you like Jarvin? Um, anything else? Love, love to uh, see those comments. But that's going to be it here for Merciless Elites. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.